Hi, my name is Eli Martin. I'm a member of the Food Pantry here at OU. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some pico de gallo. Now, first things first, before you do anything, get started. Before you touch the vegetables, you wanna wash your hands over here. So we'll just get some soap real quick. Turn on the sink, give it a nice little scrub. My mom used to tell me I need to sing the ABCs twice while I wash my hands. It's kind of important. Hygiene's a big thing. All right, and once you have that done, and you can dry your hands off right here, we can get started. Let's make some pico. All right, first things first to start off, what you'll need is you'll need seven Roma tomatoes, and then you'll need three serrano peppers, and then you'll need two jalapeno peppers, you'll need one big onion, and then you'll need a lime, and finally, to top it all off, you'll need a big head of cilantro. All right. All right, let's get started. Now, first things first, you wanna clear off the cutting board a little bit. You wanna get some room for yourself. I'm gonna start with the Roma tomatoes. So, to start things off, what I like to do is I like to give it a nice little even cut down the middle, nice and half, and then I'm gonna cut them into sections, each into threes, and then from there, you'll want to cut them in half again. Do that over and over. It's kind of a tedious process. You want to be very careful not to cut yourself because the knife is very sharp. Something else my mom always said. And so that's how you'll begin. <sighs> you know, the first thing I ever made growing up was uh, brownies with my mom. That was a big thing in my household. I used to make brownies with her all the time. I know baking was pretty easy. She let me uh, always lick the bowl, so that was awesome. And that was a big fan favorite. Um, and now, I'm a college student making pico de gallo. So you'll dice up your first tomato, all nice and easy, all nice and diced up. And this can take a while, you know, it can be soothing, you just gotta be careful. It's a pretty big fan. Um, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I love uh, chips and dip type things. Pico de Gallo's not absent from that. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. When I go to restaurants, that's probably the first thing I order at the table. So I'm a big fan of doing that. Okay, I'll just give it a nice little chop right here. Cut them in half. One of my biggest things I like to eat whenever, uh, as a snack, whenever I have nothing else to eat in the house, I will go for the first bag of chips I can find. Because um, we always have some hidden around somewhere. And that is what makes a good snack. Okay. All right, we finished up our tomatoes portion. Next, we're gonna move on to our jalapeno peppers. So what you wanna do first, you wanna take it, you wanna cut the head off, give it a nice little cut clean. You can set it down here and then you can just give it a nice little slice down the middle. You want to be very careful because it's kind of thin. Nice little slice down the middle. You just want to cut those edges off just a little bit. You want to try to probably avoid the seeds. They're pretty spicy so there you go. You can set the finished product right there. Give it a 
nice little chop. Dice them up nice and real good. And go to the other side. Okay. I feel like a tactician with this knife. I'm getting better and better as we progress. Set that right there. All right, we're on to our second jalapeno pepper. Nice cut to the head again. Slice in half. Make sure you get a nice even slice. This one's a little bigger, so it's probably gonna be a little easier. That was nice and clean. Look at that, nice and cute. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this in the bowl, all right. Got them all nice and chopped up. Next we're gonna move on to our cilantro. We're gonna cut off the head, throw away the stems, and then we're going to just chop them up nice and good. Get a nice good little tomato. We're gonna just dump those in the bowl. Now we're going to move on to our lime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it around on the bowl, on the cutting board for a second, get a nice and juice floating around. Slice it in half, pick on up, squeeze it all in. Do the other half, squeeze it all in, put it all way. And now finally, uh, we're going to move on to the onion. So I'm going to take the onion, I'm going to slice it in half, I'm going to cut it underneath.
All right, now we're just gonna take it, we're gonna mix it up a bit. Nice, good little syrup. It's all nice and even. Finally, we're gonna take some salt. Just give it three shakes. Two, three. Then we're gonna do a nice little one more stir. All right, here we go. Now it's looking nice and good. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. That is our pico de gallo. And now, give it a taste test. Make sure I get a nice little amount of it. Really good. You can feel the juices just flowing. Mmm. Sorry, Paul. Well, all right. Now we have our pico de gallo made, and that's how you make it. I'm your left in the food pantry. Thank you.